all about the UK for kids. When you hear the term United Kingdom, or UK for short, do you know what that means? Hmm. You might be asking yourself, is it a country? Is it a region? What is it exactly? Well, today you are in luck because we are going to talk all about the United Kingdom. The UK is an island nation that consists of four separate countries in Western Europe. These four countries are England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. The UK is surrounded by water. The North Sea to the east, the Atlantic Ocean to the north and west, with the English Channel and the country of France to the south. Here is an interesting fact. The English Channel is 350 miles long and anywhere from 21 to 150 miles wide. It is a famous place that presents a challenge for expert swimmers who want to swim across the channel. Some have even succeeded. And here's a bonus interesting fact. The official name of the UK is actually the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Try saying that three times fast. But wait a minute. What is Great Britain exactly? Is it another name for the country of England? Nope. Great Britain includes the countries of England, Scotland, and Wales. Guess what? The country of Ireland is actually a separate nation and not part of the UK. But Northern Ireland is. Wild, right? Overall, the UK's land covers about 93,628 square miles, which is around 600 square miles larger than the country of Uganda. Over 65 million people live in these four countries, with England being the largest and most populous country in the UK, with around 53 million people. Northern Ireland, on the other hand, is the least populous country, with a population of about 1.8 million people. London, England is the most populous city in the UK, with nearly 9 million people. Here is an interesting fact. It is estimated that people in the UK drink about 165 million cups of tea per day. That is quite a lot of tea. Hope no one is spilling it. <laughs> the terrain of the UK varies. To the north and west is mostly high ground and mountain ridges separated by deep valleys, which were shaped during the last ice age by glaciers. Examples of these types of mountains are the Scottish Highlands and the Cumbrian Mountains. The south is full of rolling hills. In the north, there are many lochs or lakes which were left behind when the glaciers melted. Loch Ness is probably the most famous lake. We cannot imagine why. There are also rivers like the Thames, which is located in England and is the longest river in the UK. Like the terrain, the climate of the UK is also varied, but is a mostly temperate marine, which means that it is kind of tough to predict the weather. Rainy days or sunny days can happen any time, sometimes multiple times in the same day. It can get cool in the winter and warm in the summer, but these seasons are milder than other countries in the European continent. Now that we know a bit more about the UK, let's talk about its history. There have been waves of invaders, colonizers, and migrants arriving to the countries in the UK for thousands of years. Some of these peoples include the Celts, Romans, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings, and Normans. The first Britons, or people who live in the United Kingdom, were the Picts, who arrived around 10,000 years ago. By the 8th century BCE, the Celts arrived from Europe 
and pushed the Picts north into Scotland. In AD 34, the Romans invaded and ruled for 400 years. German peoples known as Angles, Jutes, and Saxons moved to Britain, and eventually the English people became known as Anglo-Saxons. England was ruled by Viking, Danish, and Norman invaders from the 900s to the 1400s. In 1485, Welsh noble Henry Tudor claimed the crown and became Henry VII. Here is an interesting fact. Queen Elizabeth I was his granddaughter. By the 1800s, Britain was one of the most powerful nations in the world. This continued until the 20th century, when most of its colonies became independent. And the mid-20th century brought immigrants from countries in Africa, the Caribbean, and Asia. In fact, London is one of the most culturally diverse cities in the world. It is estimated that over 300 languages are spoken in London. Whoa! Tourists from around the world travel to see many interesting landmarks and attractions. We have already mentioned Loch Ness, which is located in Scotland. But there are lots of interesting places to visit. Big Ben is located in London. Its actual name is Great Bell. Standing 315 feet tall, it is located at the north end of the Palace of Westminster, which is where the two houses of parliament meet. Stonehenge is a man-made circle of huge standing stones. It is one of the world's most famous prehistoric monuments and one of the most mysterious too. Another cool place to visit is the Giant's Causeway, which is found in Northern Ireland. It is an area of about 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, which were a product of an ancient volcanic eruption. If castles are your thing, there's Buckingham Palace and Edinburgh Castle, the latter of which dates all the way back to the 13th century. Wow, that was a lot of info. Let's review. True or false, the United Kingdom includes the country of Ireland. False. Ireland is an independent country. But the UK does include the country of Northern Ireland. Fill in the blank. The largest and most diverse city in the UK is blank England. London. What is the nickname of the huge clock tower located in London that tourists like to visit? Big Ben. Well done, scholars. The United Kingdom is a place with a rich history and many interesting places to visit and explore. Maybe one day, you will be able to visit and learn even more about this cool place. Just make sure you bring lots and lots of tea. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.